is there for the taking. Small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, and the ambitious. Grant Cardone tells you what you have to do to prosper in this new economy. He'll inform you in everything business, finance, and career related. Get ready. Find the knowledge for your success. It's all here, right now, in the Cardone Zone. Cardone here. Welcome to the Cardone Zone. Every week, every Friday, we come to you to talk about business and finance and career. And sometimes we talk to you about real estate. Today, we're talking to you about your career, what you're going to do. Look, you're making mistakes. We interview people here at Cardone Enterprises, Cardone Acquisitions, whatever it takes network, a network we own that hopefully you subscribe to so that I can help you in your career and your finance. We take your calls here 305-865-8668. And today I want to talk to you about mistakes that people are making in their career to get what you want. Look, folks, you're making some mistakes. I mean, there's lots of people out there making mistakes and you might not be aware of these mistakes, but you got to quit making them because it's costing you great opportunities. You don't want every job out there. You want the right job for you that can give you a situation. I was talking to Robert, who does all our video here. On the break right here before I came in, I'm like, look, you got to be in the right vehicle, the right vehicle, the right person, the right company, the right entrepreneur, the right idea. A vehicle would have enough fuel in it. It goes fast enough. And you got somebody driving that actually wants to give the other passengers room to grow while they drive down the road. That's the job you should be looking for, not the job you love. Contrary to what everybody tells you, find something you love. Go to school for this. You need to start putting more energy into shopping for the right vehicle. What's the vehicle that's going to actually get you where you want to go? First, that vehicle, whatever that is, let's say my company. My company is a good place for people, the right people to come to because I have fuel, I have resources, I have money invested in my business, I have future money that I'll put in the business, I continue to grow my business. That's the vehicle. Now, the driver. What's the guy that owns the company? Is he retiring? Is he done? Is he satisfied? Is he coasting conservative? Is he driving slowly down the road protecting his trip? Or is he like me saying, let's blast off and spend some money, man. Let's go grow. See, that's the kind of company you probably want to be with unless you're better suited to be with that conservative person that's slowly going down the road like a turtle. Now, turtles might survive. I don't know. Maybe they do. But I don't want to be a turtle no matter what. Okay? I want to go fast and I want to have some fun. So I need those kind of people around me. If you're that kind of person, if you have a whatever it takes, whatever it takes ethically to do whatever it takes, you're not just a screamer and a 10Xer, a 10Xer where you're just on social media going freaking nuts on social media, but you're somebody that wants to come in and add value every day. Find that kind of vehicle first. Find that kind of driver. Find a company that has that kind of fuel. And that means number one mistake, okay? Number one mistake is don't apply to every job in your marketplace. Those of you who are out looking for work right now, or maybe you have a job right now, you're looking for another job, you're applying at too many different places. It is impossible. It's like dating online. I remember when I dated online. You guys ever dated online? I dated online, dude. I put, I put out hooks in every, I mean, literally, like, I was having so many different people respond to me, I didn't know who's responding to me. Are you the white chick? You the dark chick? You the tall chick? Are you the plumpy chick? Yeah, I didn't know who what chick was coming after me, so I was confusing all these chicks, and I couldn't really sink my teeth into the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So... If you're applying for every job, you're not going to be able to respond. We have people here every day. We say, we're interested in you, and they're like, what job did I respond to? Big, big mistake, okay? It's an error. When you get that job interview with that right company, with that right driver, you number two, you need to know something about that company. What is their mission? 
If you're going to come in here to a job interview, you need to know me. You need to know Sherry. You need to know Jared. You need to know Robert. You need to know who Polly is, Shavita. You need to know our company, and you need to know the company's mission. So, one, don't try to be everywhere. You want to target three to five companies that are the right vehicles, connected with kind of what you're doing, that offer you a chance to grow. Number two, you need to do some research on that company. What's the mission? Oh, you know, I know Grant wrote a book. We got people that come in here don't even know I wrote a book, man. You should know the books, the titles, have grabbed one already. Like, look, you're trying to sink your teeth into the right uh, business, the right opportunity for you, so you can have a career where you're happy, where you can contribute, where you can do something. All right, if you get that job, if you actually get through the interview, if you come dressed appropriately, which would be nice, this week we had two people come in here, both people. This week, had suits that they had just bought, and they didn't even take the freaking tags. Two guys came in here. One of them had a tag. It said, uh, "What was the the K- Kenneth Brothers?" Or, and and I'm watching him from. I, I said, "Dude, the guy bought the suit last week." Now, the thing that bothered me about it was, I think he's going to bring the suit back if he doesn't get the job. I'm like, dude, if you're going to bring the suit back, you can still take that off, okay? I'm fine with that. Unclip the stuff in the back, okay? Like, come prepared, okay? Three, so dress. You need to come dress like you want this job. You need to come dress better than me. If I'm in blue jeans and a T-shirt that day, I own this joint, okay? That doesn't mean you get to come in blue jeans and a T-shirt. Come dress professionally, put together like you want the job. Four, act like you want this job, okay? Don't be interviewed. Come here and pitch. Sell. Pitch your deal. Impress the company. Impress the executives. Say hi to everyone. Stay with me. I'm going to give you some tips on the mistakes you're making and strategies to increase your ability to get the right job and a career. 